Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another vlog. Um, today, we're just going to start out with, I've already been at work today. i uh, done a couple pet sits and I'm back with this guy. Got him out of the cage. Yeah. You ready for a shower? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to give him a shower because he's ready. <laughs> Hi. You talking to DC somebody? You don't see nobody. Let's get your tail. Let's get that tail. Watch out, Phoenix. All right, you ready for some more? So good, baby. You are so good looking. I don't even know what to think about you. You're so good looking. You're not gonna pull me over there. No, sir. No, sir. You'd be crazy. Yeah, y'all. Let's see your neck. You see that skinny little neck? You're really wet. That's pretty good. Look how big you are. <laughs> He's just a big boy. He's a big boy. All right. Give it a shake. Oh, want some more? Okay. Don't you, don't you be snippy, Mr. Crazy. Put you back, put you back. Yeah, oh yeah. Is that good? <laughs> I know it. You got me soaked. All right. All right, you're soaked. 
gonna take you a little bit to dry. You good? Okay. They're dripping. Oof. All right, biggin. This was half full. <laughs> Look at you. I'll get you a towel for your face. He does not like his face wet. He likes his beak very clean. So let me get him a little... Cloth. Ever since he was baby, and I used to have to hand feed him. Anytime something got on his beak, he was used to me. Now, see how am I going to position this and make sure I don't get bit? Because sometimes he gets a little carried away. Easy, easy. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. Easy, clean it. Oh, we don't go. We don't go crazy. We're just trying to clean it. You good? You good? Okay, you're just being crazy now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now it's time for you to dry off. All right. So you just chill there for a minute. Good boy. All right, I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't know if I showed y'all that I organized this patio out here a little bit better. Got some more of the work stuff towards the front so that I could have this little area to just relax and sit. And it's nice because right from here, right through there, is, I can see the TV. So if I want to sit out here at night and enjoy the cool breeze and watch TV, I can do that. Here's how it's looking. So it's slowly coming together. Little by little. I got these little placemats today and these little coasters. Kind of the mood I've been feeling. And I got some great news today. I found out that this weekend my aunt is coming up and she's going to be bringing my mom. And so we're, they're going to come here and we're going to get to hang out for a little bit. So I'm excited about doing that with them and showing them the house. They've never been here. So I'm excited, really excited about that. But I'm trying to think. So, oh, okay. So I got this metal galvanized pole and it's an L shape. And my plan is I want to drill holes all the way through it, um, probably 12 to 14 inches apart. And then I can hang multiple bird feeders on it off my deck. And so this pole here will be against the railing and I will have something holding it in like that. And then those holes, I can put carabiners or something in them to hold the bird feeders. And that means no squirrels are going to be getting on my bird feeders anymore. I'll continue to feed them in a different place, but they can't get all the good bird seed anymore. So that's going to be great. But I had seen this at one of my friend's houses years ago, um, and I thought, brilliant idea. And then when I go to refill the bird feeders, all I'll have to do is release a clamp that's down here at the bottom and swing it around and swing it back towards me. And then I can get to the bird feeders, refill them, and then swing it back out over the dirt and start feeding again. So when I get that done, 
I uh, will show you what it looks like. But I'll tell you, I'm not feeling very confident about if I can drill a hole in this. I've got some different drill bits. So I'm going to try. Um, I may actually have a drill bit that's for metal. I know I have one for concrete. Don't ask me why because I've never used it. Um, but I'll see if it'll work. And if I can do that myself, then I want to do that myself. If not, I might have to wait till one of the guys gets here and can help me out with that. But my goal is to do it myself, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Keep you posted. Okay. All right, so it's after Picasso's shower. And he has had about an hour to dry. And here's how he looks after his shower. Still a little wet on the belly. But look how pretty. Look how pretty this boy is. Look at how pretty. What you doing? Yeah. There you go. There you go, baby. Okay. I'm going to say bye. Do you want to go back? What? What do you want to do? <gasps> you get it. Get that. <clears throat> Are you good, baby? Okay. <gasps> Boop. Yeah. You dirty bird, weren't you? Oh, I know. It's some of the bark. A tree perch coming up. You're okay. You're good. Being crazy. Acting like you're... Well, hi. What is that? Okay, I'm going to go sit back down for a minute. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be, he's going to play with that for a little bit. I'm over here. I just got my first edition after many years of not having it of a, a little magazine. Hold on, let me show you. Called... Birds and Blooms. <clears throat> and I have subscribed to it over the years many times. It is just a great little magazine. But some of the pictures are just so pretty. It can teach you all kinds of stuff. Isn't that nice? So if you ever want a nice little relaxing magazine, and if you know people that like birds and blooms, it's a great gift. 
anyway that one so like i said got my first edition and i actually um sent two gifts to someone or a gift of the subscription to two people so i think they'll really like it anyway i still haven't drilled that dang pipe I've been, I sat down over here and started drinking some water and looking at the birds, bur, burps, burp, birds in bloom magazine and just haven't moved, <laughs> but I'm going to get my drill out and uh, get it charged and see if I can't get some holes put on in that galvanized pipe. Keep you posted.